Here we have a core workout using only a Swiss ball. It's going to be seven exercises and one bonus one, and you're going to work for 45 seconds with 15 seconds recovery. Or if that's too hard, you can drop it to 40 and 20. We're starting with hands to feet. So you're going to pass the Swiss ball from your hands to your feet. Tap it on the floor with control and then back to your hands. And tap it on the floor with control. You want to make sure you keep your core switched on, which is your TBA or your corset. This is the band of muscles that sits underneath the six pack. And it's okay to keep the lower back rounded as you do this, as long as the core stays engaged. So we're passing from hands to feet, feet to hands, in a controlled manner, without letting the ribs flare, without letting the core disengage. To make this easier, you can bend the legs, or to make it harder, you can keep the legs straighter. So when you get to 45 seconds, or 40 if it's too hard, you're gonna take a break until the minute comes up again. And next up, we're going to be doing dead bugs. Dead bugs are a contralateral movement where you move the opposite arm and the opposite leg down to the floor whilst keeping the Swiss ball compressed in the middle with the other arm and the other leg. So you see here, right arm down and left leg down, left arm down and right leg. So opposite movements go in a controlled manner. Once again, if you wanna make this easier, keep the leg slightly bent. If you wanna make it harder, Straighten that leg as you go. Remember keeping the core on, making sure your ribs don't flare. Slight curve in the lower back is what we want. Forty-five seconds is the goal. Or fifty if that's too easy. But we have got a few more exercises to come. You could always go faster. And then take your break now. Next up, we've got weck bugs. These are kind of like dead bugs, except we're going to be doing the ipsilateral side, which is the same hand and the same leg are going to be reaching out. Kind of like we're crawling when you have one side long and one side short. So same side compresses and the other side lengthens. One side compresses, the other side lengthens. And you want to sort of coil over onto that side. So you see that the head stays pointing in a straight line. So my head kind of rotates to stay straight while that shoulder lifts up and the other shoulder dips down. So you see the shoulders kind of go on this angle, side to side angle, and the hips do the same side to side angle. It's one side lengthens, one side shortens. Again, straighten the leg, tap the floor with the heel, open that armpit up, coiling side to side, compressing hand and knee, pushing down on the ball, the compression side and rest. So now we begin the rollover series. This is the bulk of this session because this is so good for rotational movement training. This is how babies strengthen their core, strengthen their loins, which loins actually means um, the muscles at the bottom of the back between the hips and the ribs that supports the spine, that's your loins. And we're gonna really work them here. So with the ball in the hands, we're gonna start turning to the right. Of course, you can choose whichever one you want to start to. But 45 seconds with the ball in the arms, of purely just rotating onto the belly, controlled stop, and then rotate back, controlled stop. So we're not using momentum here, we're using all the power generating from the start. You wanna start with the hips to begin the rotation, and you'll notice there's a sequence to this. It's not the hips and the shoulders go all at the same time. This is training the sequencing of rotation. So the hips begin the drive when we're on our back, and when we go back, the shoulders begin the drive back and the hips follow. Rest for 15 seconds. And then we're gonna move the ball to our feet and we're gonna do the same again. So this just makes the challenge slightly different. I think it's slightly harder with it at your feet. You have to really kind of scoop the hips and the knees back. But you can lead with the shoulders a bit easier this side. So this is the second set, but the on the right, but with the legs, and then next we're gonna do two more sets on the left, rolling to the left side, with it in the arms, and then in the feet again. And I just really like to hammer this because a lot of us don't do much rotational training, and if we do do it, it's easy to overdo it, or if we've got bad movement patterns, uh, dysfunctions, they can come into play and we can use the wrong muscles to do the wrong things. Whereas it's quite hard when you're on the floor in this position to, cause too much strain to your body doing this and it just really works those loins 
in a rotational kind of way, not just in like a deadlift kind of way. So rest for 15 seconds and then I'm going to swap to the other side. You can do it, stay where you are if you want and just make sure you roll to the other way. So you're going to ball in the hands, roll to the left and don't mind the autofocus going mental on this. This is the second time I filmed this because the first time I filmed it, three quarters of it, the autofocus was off. So doubly shattered for doing it twice. Um, but here we go. You can see the sequencing really nicely here. Shoulders, then hips on the way back. Hips, then shoulders on the way out. Keeping the head lifted. This is baby strength. Babies, all the activities babies do, strengthen their core and get them strong to be able to walk and run. And a lot of this strength slowly deteriorates within us or we get injuries and we don't rehab them properly. And I just find this is a really good exercise, as I keep saying, for that rotational movement, that sequencing. So rest for 15 seconds now. Then our final set of the rollover series. Ball in the feet, turning to the left. Should be blowing by now. Starting in three, two, one, let's go. When you roll it with the ball in your feet, it's hard for the hips to lead and that's why it's a really good challenge. And that's why I like to do both rotations with the ball in the hands and with the ball in the feet separately. I haven't actually tried it with two balls and a ball in each, that would be quite a challenge, feel free to try that. But for now I think this is a plenty of a workout, getting that rotational down. Working hard at this point, keep going. No momentum, stop, start, and break for 15 seconds. Now there's a bonus exercise if you wanna do it and if you feel safe to do so, if there's nothing around you, and maybe practice this at another time when you're not tired, but we're gonna put our hips on the ball and bounce into handstand up and down for 45 seconds. Now you do have to be slightly careful here because the ball has got a mind of its own and if you put pressure at a certain angle, it will wander off. So you either have to walk on your hands to keep up with it, <laughs> or keep an eye on the ball at all times, or have someone near you to help you keep the ball there. Because you just don't want to come crashing down, belly on the floor like this. So 45 seconds, shuffling around, to finish as a bonus, get some shoulders in there as well. Five seconds left, three, two, one, and break. All right, thanks for trying. It's a tough one. If it's too easy, you can repeat it. You can make the breaks shorter. That was a Swiss ball core workout. Thanks for watching.